<sighs> I would have thought it impossible for you to be any more annoying. But with this football on, you are seriously, seriously doing my head in. As much as I would love to, I don't go around ranging global football conversations just to get on your nerves. I think you do. Shouldn't you be at work anyway? I might mooch over when I realise my staff have got a brew on for me or they can't manage without me. Oh, how could anybody manage without you? My darling, not even you can ruin my sunny disposition this morning. I liked it better when you were horrible. What have you got now? My phone, shift! Right. I'd be pleased to know that England are playing tomorrow night. Yippee! <laughs> hey, why do I get so nervous when you're so obviously in a good mood? Oh, it'll pass, don't you worry. Hmm. Morning. Morning. You've not been winding him up again, have you? Would I? Would I? Every chance you can get. You know, I could get very upset. You have got a very suspicious nature. It's how I've lasted this long. Mm. You know what? I fancy a punt on New Zealand, two and a half thousand to one. What do you think? Don't be betting with my money, though, hey. What do you do with your money, by the way? Why do I suspect that there's something going on you're not telling me about? My sweetheart, there is always something going on that I'm not telling you about. Bye-bye. You're looming, Sammy, and it's making me nervous. Have you got a minute? Watch my lips. Go away. I feel bad. Yeah, you'll feel a damn sight worse if you don't do one. Now skedaddle, go on. Oh, hey, don't you two start getting loved up round here. One is working, and two, I don't know, I'm, I'm still getting my head round it. Oh, I should have brought some flowers. You should have brought bacon butties, I'm starving. Again? Yeah, it was because you work us so hard. I'll have one if you go. Whose well, round is it? Yours. No brown sauce on mine. You've got ten minutes. Go on. So did Paddy say anything? No, he's still trying to pick his jaw up off the floor. Well, I suppose I'm still trying to get my head around it myself, to be honest. What do you mean? Well, as in, we might be going a bit too fast. Backing off already? No, 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 I didn't say that. Maybe it's not so much that I'm thinking it, I just don't want you thinking it. All right, it is a bit weird, I suppose. Well, a lot weird, if you must know. And that's why I'm more worried about you than what anybody else thinks. No, don't worry about me. I just don't care what other people think, end of. Right, I'll just leave out the flowers then, eh? <sighs> I hope I'm not disturbing you. Well, considering you were dying for a pee five minutes ago and you're still not gone, you are a bit, yeah. I wouldn't have asked if the lads had actually got around to plumbing mine in. There's a pub three doors down as well, if you hadn't noticed. Yeah, then I would have had to buy a drink and that would have made it worse. Anyway, upstairs. First door on the right. Ah, oh, is that better? Absolutely. Mm. Nice place. I do my best. Similar taste to my own, in fact. Especially the bath. I used to have one just like it before it was nicked. Surely you don't think we're sharing the same bath? Now there's a thought. Do you know what? I think I'm going to let this one slide. For now. Call it a present. Maybe you can think of me. Don't even go there. Wouldn't want to upset your boyfriend, would we? No, you really wouldn't. Anyway, it's not big enough for two. I've tried that. Charles, you got any cash? Well, the old rhino fiver from this month. Now, here's a pleasant surprise. Oh, uh, well... I was just taking advantage of Charity's generous hospitality for a few minutes. <laughs> Upstairs is lovely, by the way. Did you not realise that as soon as you let him in that he clocked the bath, you silly cow? When he said toilet, I didn't instantly think knock off bath. Yeah, but you should have done. I know that. Are you. Are you checking up 
on me by any chance. Because if you are, I am touched. That is really sweet. Get your hands off me, you daft bar. The day I have to start mithering about him is a day I'll give up. I won't worry too much, gorgeous. Not now he's got Lady Muck up at home farm right round his little finger. Besides, there is only one man in my life, you know that. Hmm. Noah? Apart from him. Gary Barlow. <gasps> all right, apart from him and all. I'm going to get back to the garage. See you in a bit. Well, if you see any rich, gorgeous guys out there dying for a pee, you know where to send them. Well, if there's plants need lived enough, I'll send them there, eh? Oi. Don't you start giving Declan a hard time for doing exactly the same kind of thing you do. I'd be a lot more subtle. Be nice. Oh, I intend to be. Don't you worry.